Hey loves, thanks for tuning into my channel. It's your girl, lovely angel lady, L to the A to the L. Welcome to my channel. Um, so I started doing a wig review on the other side of my beauty room. Um, and I just decided to do that first and then come over here and chat with y'all because it is the end of Mental Health Awareness Month and y'all know mental health is my thing, my fizzle. And so I'm gonna just get ready and while I'm getting ready, I'm gonna talk to you today um, about boundaries, y'all. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking into the mirror, I'll look up occasionally, um, but just know, you know, I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna start out with this pink what is it called? I'm going to start out with Peach Pout by Pixie Beauty. I love how my lips feel moisturized when I use that. It's like a tinted lip balm. like They just look more natural pretty much when I put that on. But anyway, y'all, so today, um, today's Let's Talk discussion this is actually basically a get ready with me and let's talk discussion combined. Okay, you heard me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just start getting myself together. But um, this one is called, today's topic is called, why they don't respect your boundaries. Why they don't respect them. Okay, so <sighs> we're going to get into not just why. Um, but how, you know, you can deal with that. We're also going to chime in on how you can address that. Some things that you can do to deal with that. So to speak, if that makes sense, while your girl is getting ready. Um, so boundaries are something that, um, it's very highly important. It's like discipline, uh, when you discipline a child, if you're not consistent and you don't stay on top of it and you're forever, you know, letting things slide and, you know, when you tell them if you do X, Y, Z and they do that and you don't do, you don't enforce things or you don't do what you said you were going to do, boundaries pretty much work, you know, similarly. And it is Mental Health Awareness Month, y'all. So I said, you know, while I get it together, um, if you see me leaning down, y'all, I'm just getting product. Um, but much of the time when uh, you are having boundary issues with somebody, it could very well be that that person is toxic, okay? Toxic people do not respect boundaries. They are known for not respecting boundaries. Um, they will try to even manipulate you to get whatever it is that they want out of you like that's usually you know how they play their game and um they just don't respect your boundaries they lie on a regular basis so all of that is usually you know a red flag we are aware when something doesn't seem right with somebody but a lot of times we let things slide and that can also lead to boundary issues because if you're not enforcing that someone respect your boundaries, if you're not on top of that, why why should they? They're gonna be like, or else what? But you know, it really depends because um, it depends on who the person is, what type of relationship it is. Um, you know, if you feel like your safety is at jeopardy, if you fear a person, um, you know, maybe their mental is not right or maybe they just have, they're aggressive and they have a bad temper, but there are still things that you can do in terms of boundaries. Um, you know, and some, you know, if push comes to shove and it's really a dangerous situation, I always tell y'all to seek professional help. Um, and you don't know until you try, you know, if you need to contact a shelter or, you know, law enforcement. 
Um, but um, that's just, you know, like if it's really not getting better and it's getting worse and, and you fear for your safety, sometimes, ooh, sometimes you just gotta um, call it quits, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody does not deserve to have you in their presence, like I said on one of my discussions I told y'all. Um, but they love to talk, they don't like to listen, um, they drain your energy. People who are toxic are highly, highly draining. Um, they just act like they will come across to you like they're just kind of, I hate to say the term throw it off, but you know, if we were to say that in, in Baton Rouge, we say throw it off, it means like they're mentally not acting normal. So um, you might even, you know, get those type of vibes from a person who is toxic. Um, they tend to have a lot of drama and, and issues. They're frequently aggressive. They don't have really good self-control. They don't encourage you or inspire you, uplift you to reach your goals. They're more, you know, concerned with themselves. Um, and so if it's somebody that is like that, regardless of, you know, if it's a, um, a, a relationship with like a parent or a relationship with a sibling or a relationship, like an actual intimate relationship, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, you know, um, whenever the person is toxic, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have boundary issues, but it's up to you to enforce them. And if they don't fall through, they disrespect the boundaries over and over again, something has got to give. And if they're not willing to do that, like I said, there's the door. You, either you gotta go, they gotta go, but you have to get on top of making that happen because nine times out of 10, somebody like that is not going to necessarily change. Now they do, wonderful, but ain't no sense in you hoping and wishing and all this that they will because even God himself is not going to change somebody who don't wanna be changed. Did you hear me? God will not change anybody that don't wanna be changed. So keep that in mind, okay? Nine times out of ten, you doing all this praying and all. I'm not saying don't pray for people, but they they don't care to change. They don't want to change. They think something is probably wrong with you, or they like being how they are. They're, you know, um, and if they're, you know, if they have like a personality disorder or something, they really, they really ain't got it together. So it just ain't a whole lot that you can do when that's the case you can pray for somebody but if they don't want to change it just ain't gonna be nothing you can do about that so i'm not here to tell you to expect somebody to change you know what i'm saying i'm here to tell you what you can do on your end um but yeah people like that they blame others um they put you down like they're just constantly negative ain't nobody got time for that but they feel entitled um, they will interrupt you when it's some, you're in the middle of something highly important because they think whatever it is that they're bothering you for, they come first. That um, whatever it is that they want you for or want you to do, they, they really feel like, you know, that person's here for me because I'm going to use them to do what I want. These are my desires and this is what I want. And some are willing to get them at all costs. So just just know that that boundaries are very important and um we're gonna um I already gelled my brows up y'all so I'm just letting you know I'm about to go ahead and put some primer on my face I'm not doing a whole whole lot today more of a kind of like natural um look if you will all is hair but I did a review, a wig review for a company today. And so, I didn't really know what to expect with the hair. And I had to like pin her up a little bit. I was not finna look like no poodle and rock her <laughs> um, down. Cause she is huge. This is big hair. Sis is huge hair. <laughs> but anyway, back to what we're talking about. Y'all, my face is prime. I am going to get me some concealer and start concealing under my eyes but yeah 
people like that, they don't care about your feelings or what you're going through or that they irritating you or whatever. Because sometimes that's their purpose. Like, they have to literally, like a troll, somebody who really um, deals with personal issues, they're out. They're just out to do that. Because they're unhappy with life. They're unhappy with themselves. And, you know, it's like, what else they going to do? Caring about your feelings is probably the last thing on those people's list. People who act like that. But I had to get me a sponge, y'all. I'm going to spray it with some rose water by Wet n Wild. Yeah, that's the thing. Y'all have to know, um, number one, it is important to really um, like look into who you are and be self-aware. Self-awareness is highly important. And when you know who you are and how you are, it helps you better control things like boundaries. So if you don't know yourself, it's not too late. You have to start to get to know yourself. And sometimes when you hang around people, and you've been around a toxic person so long, it's almost like you forget who you are. Okay? I'm trying to told you. I tried to told you. But, um... Yeah, y'all. They, they, um, they're really draining. And, um... Selfish. And could care less about your goals. Your desires. You getting ahead in life. They might pretend... But if they do pretend, it's usually because of something that they want from you. They might be being nice to you for the purpose of something else they want from you. And I'm just talking particularly about toxic people. But in terms of just anybody, when you're dealing with boundaries, it's important to be self-aware and still know yourself. Okay? Um, not all boundaries should be negotiable. they got to be something real good for you to be willing to negotiate that boundary. Don't be so quick to let your guards down, okay? But yeah, we cannot control other people or situations, meaning you cannot have the same mindset that somebody toxic has because that makes you just as bad as they are. Sometimes we tend to want to do things to make ourselves feel better. But self-medicating in the form of bullying or, you know, just trying to control others and stuff like that, it's a difference in, you know, um, for instance, somebody smokes, you can't be around smoke and, you know, you try and get them to stop so you can still stay around them. If they don't get, if they don't see the importance and the fact that maybe something is wrong with your health or maybe you don't, you can't deal with that or choose not to for whatever reason and you've tried to work things with out with them, they don't care enough about you or the situation to even keep their relationship going. Like, it takes two in a relationship you can't be the only one willing to you know um actually work through it and do what's right you know what i'm saying and it's not only a relationship is not only about what we want though but you when it comes to boundaries um a lot of times people who um who are um toxic a lot of times people who are toxic will um they will have poor boundaries, but they trust and believe they're not going to just let you walk all over them. So it's just, it'd be tripping me out because it's like, if you, if you don't want that, then, you know, the term treats other people like you want to be treated like you, and you cannot reason with people like that. Like, I don't care if you say things until you blow in the face, they will not, they, they not going to hear you. It's like, like they literally cannot hear I'm going to go in with this lighter one to brighten up under my eyes a little bit more. Now I'm keeping it super simple today and I mean it. Sometimes it just be like that. But yeah, y'all, so... If the situation is dangerous and it makes you uncomfortable... You have to consider getting out of there, leaving the situation. That's really important.
And then we have to watch how we respond because sometimes we get very emotional, especially if somebody's been literally like bullying, bullying us or we just feel so hurt and disturbed, like, you know, because you just feel like they know what they're doing. And sometimes that could, you know, get to you. And emotionally, you're just a mess. You probably had no sleep. And so you kind of lash out and you respond instead of acting, you react. And you act by yelling, you react by yelling. And damn, they want to fight when that's not really productive in resolving a situation. It's usually going to make it a heated situation and add flames to the fire, add fuel to it. And um, you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Because you don't want to end up in jail. You know, and sometimes toxic people do end up in jail because they're just not all there. They need some type of um, help. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna set under my eyes. Yeah, you have to let people that don't want to respect your boundaries, deal with their own decisions. Um, but let's talk about why they're probably not respecting your boundaries. I did bring up the fact that you're more than likely not enforcing them. Maybe you're not that great at enforcing boundaries. Maybe you feel guilty. Maybe you fear the person. Um, or maybe you just need some practice and you need to be more self-aware. Um, so that you know what you will tolerate and what you are not willing to tolerate. That's what's important about self-awareness. You need to, you know, know yourself in the first place. Um, like I said, y'all, I'm keeping it like super simple today. I'm not going all out because I just don't feel like it. But yeah, so you don't have to participate in arguments and sometimes that pisses them off more. I hate to say it, but sometimes it makes them more angry because you don't want to um, argue with them and they want to either feed off of that or drain you because people like that suck the life out of you. They truly do. And we, like I said, we ain't got time for that. Not today, not tomorrow. And that's why I say being consistent with your boundaries is highly important. Um, they love to give unsolicited advice to people who are very poor with boundaries. And um, you don't have to be like them. Like for me, I'm the type of person where I like to for the most part, I talk to y'all and give y'all tips and stuff like that to help y'all to add value, you know, because if I'm not providing something for y'all that possibly may benefit you, then, you know, it's like, what are you doing, you know? Um, but yeah, so... Just because they like to give unsolicited advice doesn't mean that you have to, basically, is what I'm saying. Just because they choose to do that, you already know right from wrong. And so don't, you know, stoop down to other people's level. You can't, and that's another thing, baby and grown people and all that. If they're making dumb choices and eventually it's going to lead them to a bad place or bad situation, sometimes you got to let people bump, you know, um, bump their head. Because uh, a hard head does make a soft behind. And a lot of times when they have poor boundaries, they will bump their head over and over damn again and still make the same stupid choices. And, you know, kind of leave you sitting there like, what the hell? What in the heck is going on? 
And that's another thing. Don't waste your time trying to analyze and figure out someone when you don't even have your own self figured out. You don't even know who you are yet. You know what I mean? Know that you do have choices and you know, by all means, remain honest and everything. But if you know like something's gonna just cause somebody like that, that can't take, um, sometimes people like that can't take hearing the truth and all that, they get aggressive and angry. But if you know how that person is, just don't even put yourself in that place. But also, like I said, certain situations, you gotta consider getting out of because it's not safe for you. Um, if someone else, you know, wants to act a fool and they don't want to get it together, they don't want to go get professional help. It's not always up to you. They have to want to be better themselves, just like you want to probably be a better person than who you are today. It's up to the person to decide that they're ready to put in that work and do that. It's not up to us to decide that for them, if that makes sense. I think I'm gonna go on my master chrome. I haven't even been wearing, um, I haven't been wearing any type of, uh, I haven't been wearing any type of um, highlighter. Okay, y'all, I, I gotta start back talking. But yeah, so just know that you have choices and be able to identify those choices. Somebody can't respect it. Uh, boundaries that you are not enforcing if you don't enforce the boundaries what is their you know what I mean like they don't they're not gonna care but if the person is that out of hand let them go figure out disturbing somebody else and making somebody else unhappy and I know it's sad because like in some cases it's just like a parent um you know, uh, auntie, uncle, sibling. Um, if it's a parent, auntie, uncle, sibling, something like that, then um, it, it's very difficult because you don't necessarily want to part ways with them, but you have to decide what's more important to you. Um, even if it's just dis dis distancing yourself um, and trying to, you know, put up with them maybe a few times a month or something. But, you know, that's something to let your therapist know. And y'all, if there is nothing wrong with getting therapy when you need help, would you be r rather walk around being aggressive and violent and end up in jail over not having your mental health in order? Or, you know, or would you rather get professional help that help that you might need? I want people to really get out of that. Cause to me, like you look worse not getting help. You worry about how bad you look if you was to get help, but you walk around and everybody, you know, jumping when you walk by because you not right. You know, you mentally are not normal at the time or whatever. And so people are going to feel some type of way about it, they're not gonna be comfortable around you. If you popping off like a damn ticking time bomb every time something happens and something minor, something not even major, they're gonna be like, what is wrong with this fool, you know? And if you don't respect yourself, that's another reason. If you don't respect yourself, sis, bruh, for real though, who gonna respect your boundaries? Who? Tell me, demon. <laughs> Cause ain't nobody gonna um, respect your boundaries if you're not respecting your own self. If you have no self-respect, that's gonna all go out the window. <sighs> yeah, I'm looking for this. Um, I'm gonna use this. Um, Lash glue pen. And my lashes are actually in there. Hold on, I gotta go get them. Alright, y'all, I'm back. So we got this lash glue liner pen. I did do a review on this already. But I'm just gonna line my eye and stick my lashes on. 
And then I'm gonna pick back up talking now. Give me a second to do this. Okay, so there go one. We're gonna take our tweezers. And we're gonna pop this bad boy on, put it down. Okay, y'all, so we got one lash on. Just making sure it's where I want it. Press it together with my lash. Then we're gonna do the other one real quick. All right, so we got our lashes on y'all. Really simple. I think I'm gonna put on a little bit of blush. Gonna add to this look a little bit. Let's rosy up our cheeks just a little bit here. Like so I'm gonna put a little bit of that highlighter on my eye. This one looks so bare. Just a little bit. Okay, y'all. So we got that together. So um Yeah, it's important to remain honest with yourself and others. Um, if somebody doesn't like to hear the truth, you're still supposed to be honest with yourself. So you ain't got to lie to yourself to make somebody else happy or comfortable. And it should make you uncomfortable being a liar in the first place. I said it, showed it. It should make you uncomfortable being a liar in the first place. It looks so nice, y'all. Okay. So, anywho, how? Um, you can't make people respect their boundaries. So, it's important that you realize that you cannot make people... You cannot make people respect their boundaries. You can try enforcing them. You can be consistent with attempting to enforce them. But you cannot make somebody do what they just unwilling to do and that's when it's simple it's a whole lot easier a lot easier to separate yourself from somebody like even if it's people that you love you have to choose is it more important for you to remain around them or is it impacting you to where you don't feel like the same person? You feel like it's bringing you down, it's making you suffer with like depression or something like that. It don't sound like it's worth it to me at that point. But you gotta, you know, make that choice. I know what I'm willing to deal with and what I'm not. And I'm, I can be very sweet and all that. And 
there was a time I was very naive and, you know, kind of a little bit of a pushover. And when I went through my counseling program, I had to deal with unfinished business and address it. And that's one thing about the program that I went through. They weren't gonna let you pass if you wasn't ready, if you was gonna do damage to others by, based on you not dealing with your own personal stuff because even therapists are human, you know, at the end of the day. Um, but it just, it depends. Like if you're a minor, this video is really not for kids, but if the person is a minor, um, it's still, you still can like talk to your school counselor um, if, you know, it's out of control and you fear for your health, um, you can still, you know, go to the police or whatever it is that you need to do in terms of being a minor. Um, you can reach out to another adult that you trust for help. Um, people tend to overestimate the strength of their boundaries. So that's why I was saying you can't make just because you're doing a good job at trying to enforce them. We can't make somebody respect the boundaries, okay? So there's no need to be ashamed or anything about that. Let me put this back in the bag. Um, there's no, no need to be ashamed about it or anything, you know? Not at all. I got this from Big Slayer's Cosmetics. And I will have to find the shade and drop the link below. It smells so good. I really want to rock a really pretty lip today, so it's very, very pretty. Yeah, y'all, if your safety is at jeopardy, I know, like, if it were me, um, not just because I've worked at, you know, where we had shelters, to help people um, escape situations like that. Okay, Wig Slayers, I see y'all. Wig Slayers Beauty, Wig Slayers Cosmetics, baby. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face up so we can set it with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Really simple look today. So anyway, um, you have to consider the the person who's violating your boundaries is aggressive. Um, and when you, in terms of not setting clear boundaries, um, they're not clear, or you're constantly saying you're going to do something and not do it. Um, somebody's constantly looking for holes in those boundaries. So that they could basically loop right through, right on through it. You know, they're not trying to respect them in the first place. So um, you have to be assertive and clear when it comes to boundaries. So a lot of times people won't respect your boundaries when number one, you're not clear about it and you aren't assertive, meaning that you're not even trying to enforce, enforce the boundaries. You have to be enforcing them for them to be effective. And they're not going to be effective in the first place if the person refuses to respect them. So, like I said, you have to um, sit there and do some thinking and determine whether or not you are willing to deal with a particular person and their actions, what they're doing, um, if it's having a negative impact on you. You heard me? I tried to told you. Listen to me, baby. Listen to me, sugars. And maybe that person's willing to change, but much of the time that's not the case. It's not that easy. You know, don't we all just wish? It's like, can't we all just get along? But everybody is not, you know, wired the same. Meaning their their thought process is different. Their brain, you know, how, how they think through things, how they react to what they're going through and experiencing and thinking and so forth. 
the way you have to continue to be consistent and stand strong when it comes to setting your boundaries, it's a lot harder than what it sounds. Um, it's not easy, but you have to do it, okay? Write it down. If you just need help remembering what boundaries you're setting, write it. <gasps> Ooh, hiccup, sorry, y'all. If you need help um, as far as remembering your boundaries, do write it down. It's not going to hurt you to write it down. Be clear um, with yourself about what treatment you'll accept and what you want. So, like, if somebody is calling you out your name and you will not accept that when they do it, you have to, you know, bring it up. And you don't have to be, um, you know, to the point where you like you want to argue. It's a way to say things, but I will not. I will not argue with you today. Just as plain as simple as that. And if they still proceed to follow you and try to be a bully, you know, if you need to call the police, let them know you're not bluffing. Like that's very important. And it ain't just about being no tattletale or nothing like that. It's about do you want your life? Is your life important to you? Do you want to be there for your family? Do you want to be there for your kids? Do they? Do you just want to be there for you if you don't have family like that? Do you just want to, you know, nobody wants to be miserable. Our quality of life is very important, but people who are toxic, they don't, they don't value like friendships and relationships like talking about them. So you have the mindset where you are strong enough and I'm not saying strong enough like you're not broken down and because you've been through a lot but you have the right mindset to know that a change needs to happen you want better you know what I'm saying so you have to think about that but don't keep pushing stuff back or letting it get pushed back because that person doesn't feel the need to respect your boundaries. When you say something is not going to happen or you're not going to roll with something, stick to it. If they do it, you know, determine the number of times you're willing to allow somebody to do something. A lot of people say three is the magic number. Um, I say sometimes it shouldn't even go that far because by the time it gets to three, they already thinking that, you know, they got, got you all sewed up. They can do what they want to do with you. You know, and um, that ain't the way it's supposed to be going down. You know, you heard me? Except that some people won't respect your boundaries and detach yourself um, from the outcome. Like if it's not working, you have to separate yourself. You can't always be glued to the hip with somebody that's bringing you down, down, down. Um, and trust me, once you have that peace of mind, a peaceful environment you can think clearly you feel like you could do something positive like doors will begin to open up for you when you don't have that weighing you down um you will not feel like as sad and it's just so much more to the world than being in a situation like that you know it's so much it's so much so so much more to being stuck being in an entanglement, as Jada would call it. Um, decide to limit or cut off all contact when somebody refuses to respect your boundaries. Period. Point blank. Period. Period. Okay? They refuse. You refuse to communicate with them. Shut it down. Bam. Just like that. Oh. Because that's what you got to do. Sometimes that's where... It just has to be like that. You don't necessarily want it like that, but sometimes it has to be like that. If you live with, um, if you live with the person who's violating your boundaries, and like I said, um, you feel like you have to really evaluate: Do you want to spend the rest of your life that way? Do you want to even suffer for another six months like that? You have to start mapping out a plan to get out of that situation to where you can stand on your own two feet, support yourself, and so forth, so forth, because we can hope, wish, and pray and everything that somebody changes. And like I said, God is not changing somebody that don't want to be changed. And a lot of times they be thinking that, you know, what they want or whatever it is that they want, what control they want over you, they they want you to not even, you know, focus on God. They not worry about, you know, you being obedient to God. They worry about you worshiping them or doing, you know, eating out the palm of their hands, whatever it is that they want from you. They're not caring about, you know, I wonder if she's going to heaven. 
No, they, they're not thinking about nothing like that. Anybody that's manipulative and toxic, they don't think that way. Now, like I said, not everybody who disrespects your boundaries is necessarily like that. Some people just really got poor boundaries, but a lot of times they are toxic. They're highly toxic. Um, especially like if the person who's doing it is an a, a authority um, figure, like a, in a position like an officer or a mayor or a president or, you know, somebody high up that is like really somebody, so to speak. Um, we all are somebody, but, you know, like a police officer, uh, somebody like that, that sometimes if they're not mentally right, they can abuse their authority and baby we know all about that it's no good it is no good um you have to get yourself in in a situation because that's very a complicated situation but you have to realize like what's important to you and the moment you can get yourself away from that situation flee i don't care what you gotta leave behind in that situation leave it behind and the thing about police officers if they are narcissistic and you know, you do leave them and they won't try to find you. They be abusing the authority, using stuff to try to find you, using, you know, whatever um, device or uh, technology or resources or tools to, you know, try to track you down. Some people that had to, you know, move away, change their name, move to another country. It's just sad. It's really sad that there are people who actually live on Earth that are this way, but it's just is that way and I respect the ones that know they need help and they come to a mental health professional to get the help that they need rather than you know screwing up everybody that they can come across in the world to screw up the head you know mess with them play mind games and so forth so forth I respect those the people that know they need help and they actually reach out to get it they don't go on the internet and troll people and say you know stupid stuff 24 7 to try to self-medicate you know, because I, I don't, I don't baby-ish like that. Like, no. Because you could do better, you could be better, and you know what you're doing. You know? You don't have to make someone else get to the point of committing suicide because you feel that low on yourself. But, um, boundary violations are, you know, they're not uncommon. Um, but... It is good to always have somebody in your corner, somebody that you can lean on for support. Because um, not everyone will even be supportive. Sometimes when you try to go to a family member or a friend, they're on that person's side. Oh, Henry could never be, you know, or Sarah would never do a thing like that. You know, they, they thinking they're so lovable. And a lot of times, you know, people who have personality disorders are very, you know, liked or popular or whatever. But people like me, we see right through them. <laughs> we see right through. There was a time when I didn't, and I wish I I did. And I think I it's not that I didn't. Um, I ignored it. Those red flags, that gut instinct, trust it, shivers, trust it, because it's there for reasons. There, God be trying to protect us um, from getting into some type of entanglement or a situation that can be harmful for us or something that he just don't want you in. If he, this, how could it be an ordained marriage if he really don't want you with this person in the first place? You know what I'm saying? So like, that's how he looking at it. Like, I never want you to be with that person in the first place, you know? You ran up after that situation, especially when you knew that someone right with it, but you proceeded because you didn't want to be lonely. And then you go from being lonely to being just miserable, just being unhappy, afraid, you know, like which one you want, which one is more important to you. That's what you have to determine. But um, counseling, like I said, self-awareness, um, you know, things like saying positive affirmations are good um, just to keep your spirit up, keep you uplifted. If you do have somebody trustworthy, Definitely, you know, you can talk to them, pray, read your Bible, meditate on the word. It's just all different types of things that you can do to deal with it. Um, but most importantly, if you need to get out of the situation, you got to start focusing on your plan to get out of the situation. When you really want something bad enough, it'll happen. Stop resisting what you know you need to do and make it happen. Get it popping.
okay because it's about accountability you have to hold your own self accountable at some point somebody may be doing all these things to you but you don't necessarily have to sit there and take it you know what i'm saying so yeah loves but um i know this has been a, a long video but i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go um hopefully y'all got something out of it your girl Elia loves you big like that so much and um, I'm going to let y'all go for the rest of the day. If y'all have questions or anything, drop them below in the comments. Um, try to surround yourself with good, positive people. Protect your environment. By all means, watch who you allow in your space. Mis amores. Watch who you allow in your space because everybody does not deserve to have you in their lives and in their presence everybody does not deserve you okay you have to understand that you are not for everybody okay so be patient stop rushing when you see that there's a red flag something ain't right in the first place don't go get involved in it that'll kind of help you with situations like this where you don't have to deal with nearly as much drama disappointment depression negative emotion um safety issues and all so forth so forth so your girl loves you so 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 much y'all be positive hang in there keep your head above the water and um if you guys have any other requested topics that you want me to chime in on drop them below june is coming up it's my astenia a grab june is coming up it's my astenia graphics awareness month and so your girl's going to be chiming in on some MG topics and stuff like that because you guys know I do have multiple autoimmune diagnoses. Um, and I'm still a CEO running a business and <laughs> y'all be doing all kind of stuff. I got, you know, my YouTube channel, I'm influencing and so forth. So I got a whole lot going on. Being a content creator and a business owner and, and all that is a lot in itself, but I give all thanks to the man above because he keeps me pushing y'all it ain't easy so i'm telling y'all this so that y'all can hang in there and just be strong don't you give up and um, i'm rooting for you i want the best for y'all and you deserve that okay you hear me you deserve it. i don't care what somebody tell you you deserve to be respected loved um and if they can't do that then they gotta kick rocks bye bye toodaloo later Ciao. <laughs> so, all right, loves. Your girl Elia loves you. I'm going to go. I'm going to catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye,